Okay, so weekly comics ate up like 40 bucks, I think. So, and it was a buy one, get one half off. I'd rather have gotten, I honestly probably just should have gotten all trades. But some of the weekly books were, were books I could, I, some of them just, you, you'll see, you'll see. I got them, and actually first up is one I didn't get last week or the week before, and that's Symbiote Spider-Man Crossroads Issue 4. Now, as much as I hate weekly books, first of all, they're still books, you know, it's still a story. But for me, it's just they're so damn expensive. This should be two bucks. It's four bucks. And before you say, oh, well, inflation this, and, you know, don't give me that. People have said that they can be two bucks, and it's just fine. It's inflated from the original price of ten cents. Remember when they, remember when they were ten cents? No one does. Because everyone who remembers when they were 10 cents is dying or close to, is dead or close to dying. I mean, maybe like, no, in his 60s. I, I, was, I was thinking 40s. But yeah, in the 60s, they were still 10 cents until a little bit after the 60s. So it was like late 50s, early 60s. Even 12, even 12 cents, like 25 cents, a dollar. You know, a dollar, a dollar would be perfect. Because I wouldn't have minded. Um, but this one I had to, had to get. It's the last issue of this mini series. And that's Deadpool, Black, White, and Blood number four. Almost didn't see this. And this is what I do. Like, when I can't see it the first time I look, I look through every single comic. I read it aloud to myself. I'm like, okay, um, Batman, uh, Spider-Man, uh, this one. And I see it. Like, oh, that's what it was. And this one I almost forgot about. I like this cover. Uh, Amazing Fantasy number four. I think this is a five-issue miniseries. Five or, five or six issues. I know it's not four. And Symbiote Spider-Man I know is five. In fact, issue 5 is probably going to come out pretty soon here. Like, I mean, like, next week pretty soon here. And I was so glad to find these two. because, And spoilers, this is one of the two of the trades that I got. When I got half off. And that is Black Widow issues 11, right? Issue 11? I did not make sure. No, I did make sure. And the one I never think I'd find... Number 12. Because number 12, I'm putting this right back in the... I'm putting this right back in no, I'm putting this right in the Mylar. Because this has kind of become a key issue. It's already, like, worth more than its cover price. I don't know why. I, I didn't look into it. I ha I'm subscribed to Tom Comic Tom. And no offense to him, but I cycle. I just do the like, skip 10, skip 10, skip 10 for him. I just, you know, it's, 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 it's what I do for Watch Mojo. A lot of top 10s, I just do skip 10, skip 10, skip 10. For comic calls, you kind of can't. Because if you skip 10, you might miss one. Now, this one... So happy to find. I didn't think I'd find it. And I was like, you know what? Let's look. And I found it. Once in Future, number 21. This is the week of Kieran Gillen, apparently. I got Die Volume 4, and I finally got Once in Future. And I had Dark Vader. Oh, and speaking of library comics, and I really should have taken into account, so to speak, what today was. Today's Veterans Day. And even though the library is open, the interlibrary loans truck did not come in today. He, he or she probably had the day off. So I should have realized that and been like, okay, maybe he won't come on Veterans Day. Because he is a veteran. No, not actually. But like, you know, a veteran of uh, the libraries. <laughs> uh, Batman the Imposter issue two. Thick ass book. Uh, but this this is actually fairly priced. Five ninety nine for this thick a book, that's fairly priced. That is this, I think there's actually, I think I did say that there, yes, there was a, um, Batman Long Halloween one that was seven ninety nine, and this is five ninety nine. dollars they're both the same amount as, kind of pages. That makes sense, but the little itty bitty 23 page book where, especially for Marvel, they use the same paper quality as inside the book as the cover, yeah, this should be two bucks, you know? Um, this one... Kind of funny that it's Jeff Lemire, Jeff Lemire, which I'm trying to get. I, I, I could get it. It's just, I, I want to find it because it's soft cover. It's a thick soft cover. I want to find it in a comic book store, Barnes and Noble, wherever. But his Green Arrow uh, collection. They have a DC Essentials edition. It's 450 pages for a fair price, too. Um, it's just it's Amazon. I don't trust them. And big three days. I don't really know. It's, I, I, I'd wait if I knew it would come, come in good condition. My dog is whining. She's been doing that all day for no reason. Like, you give her everything. Take her out. I, I just took her out when I got home. I just got home. Uh, Robin and Batman. Sorry, this is the book. That's Robin and Batman number one of three. 
See, see, it's usually Batman and Robin. So this one actually got good reviews. Um, and so did Batman and the Imposter. That was already on, it was already on that series. And this is a three issue mini series too. So I was like, you know what? Why the hell not? The you'll be seeing in two set once probably it's, eh, probably two separate videos. This one you already saw, but there was no sound. I couldn't find the one for the previous week. And then DC Connect. It's a DC one. DC never, ever, ever does their free previews. I don't know why. Don't you like want sales? And this one, I actually had to... They're all the same series. The last three issues of this series. And what I had to do was I had to look at my own video to make sure I was all caught up. And I am. And I was so happy because I was going to be really pissed off if I wasn't. And that is Justice League Last Ride. The final three issues of this series. Issue 5, Issue 6, sorry for talking, and Issue 7. Hopefully you can figure it out. That's my dog. She's, she's also old, but it's not that. It's just, well, it could be a little bit of that. Yeah. But she's, like, she's been good before. Like, she has her good days. She's had, like, a good week. Like, the past few weeks have been perfect. She hasn't whined unless she needs to go out or needs to eat or needs her pills. So she gets, it's, it's our alarm to get, you know, get her what, her, what she needs. Alright, so now for the trades. And then, like, just this morning, she was just, like, back to whining shit oh yeah i forgot about that i gotta download these uh department of truth volume two now why did i wait so damn long to get this because i had volume one and it looks like and it's james tinian and it looks like i say based off the like the i, 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 I want to go in pretty blind with the series but based off the, one of the premise that i looked at like the basic premise is it looked interesting why did i wait so long to get it they skip Issues 6 and 7, and it's 8 to 13. All the issues until the no, most recent, which is something that Marvel didn't do, as you can see. Um, yeah, it really pissed me off. I also paid full price. It's the only... Sorry, no. This is one of the ones I paid full price for. sixteen ninety nine. also. Um, so I'll have to get issues 6 and 7 on the Kindle. I think, I think they're 2 bucks each, so... No, 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 no skin off my back. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be shredding paper tomorrow. I'm making, <laughs> making paper. Um, so I'll pay off that and my two bucks I got earlier this week. That, that. So all good. But yeah, I'm just. And I was like, you know what? It's two issues. I'm just gonna give them the Kindle. The volume three is gonna have issues six and seven, and then the rest of the is rest of the series up to that point. So why didn't this one have? Why didn't this this one just have six to thirteen and? Give you a sixteen ninety nine. Be like, hey, here's a fairly priced book. I don't know. Um, and then the aforementioned Black Widow by Clay Thompson, volumes one and two. Now, why did I wait so long to get this series? Well, I think back then it was when it wasn't like when I was st I stopped getting a bunch of weekly comics. I was overspending, and that got to be a big, big, big bullshit thing. Um, it wasn't actually. It might have been. Because it's I've had, I've had like twelve issues, so it's been out for like like, like a year. I think it's big. I think it was coming out week uh, monthly. Um, but the issue one I liked enough, but I was like, doesn't really grab me. But I've been I've been getting really into Black Widow recently. Um, not not thanks to the movie, thanks to the actual comics that are good. <laughs> and they have actually they have they had the uh their Black Widow sale, and I read. Um, Widow, the Widowmaker trade, not, not, not the entire trade, it's the series, the, the 20, 2010 series, which I really like, that Widowmaker collects all that series, plus some many other miniseries. Oh, I read the Seeger Origin one, and then the, uh, the 2019 series, that I just did not know what was coming, I did not know what was coming out, because it was just like, oh yeah, here's, here's Black Widow, guys. There's Black Widow. And I, and I read it Black Widow, I was like, what Black Widow, guys? So I got confused. And I saw it. I swear, I swear to God, every time I saw it, when I was trying to find the newest issue of Web of Black Widow, I thought that's what it was. And I had to look inside the book and look through, like, look through it. And it's like, no. So yeah, it was two 2019 series. The uh, other, 2019, other 2019 series was not bad. The Web of Black Widow was really damn good so far. I only have one issue left of that one. So ironic that I got this today. Uh, but yeah, volumes one and two. Oh yeah, so, yeah sorry, sorry, I said what that was collecting. 1 through 5, 6 through 10. I keep doing that to myself. I'm like, oh, did you get issue 11? Because sometimes, sometimes I can't count. <laughs> and it's like, yes, I did. Thank you. And then finally, 
a book I got for five bucks, but I'm still kind of like up in the air about. Um, but Garth Ennis and Brian K. Vaughn like it, and they're comic veterans. And it looks it looks to be an interesting book, and Comic Tom was talking about it. Uh, and that's Old Haunts. It looks a pretty, pretty, pretty good book. That's AD, AWA Upshot, which they are like one of the. They're like that comic series that's really underrated that no one talks about. But the people that are talking about it, it's like everyone's talking about it because they like it that much. Um, I want to say this collects 1 through 5. Or 1 through 6. Let's look it up real quick. Hopefully my laptop isn't shut off. So I mentioned thing with the light? No, it is. Oh, because it's dead. I'm going to plug it in. Alright, where's my phone? Um, but yeah. Um, that, so the thing with the light, I did, I did. Because the veteran say thing, I did. So yeah, I click on Tuesday. I probably am going to go today. It's just I hate it. I have books. I have, I have one book in. Um, but yeah. I'm glad I didn't get I didn't, I'm glad I didn't get some other trades cuz one of them was 44.99. It was pretty it's a pretty thick book. It was just one of them that it's smack dab in the middle of his run on Captain America. It's like it's a Captain America book, the uh, epic collection by Mark Grunwald. I like the uh issue I was reading recently that I didn't like before and it was one of those books you go back to and like oh I actually like that one and the one that the one that I have right now is the captain that's smack dab in the middle of his run and I'm like you know what maybe I should start at the beginning of his run which is the, ironically enough the epic collection that has that issue I was just reading not not that issue I wish it was so it'd probably be worth a bit much a bit much be worth a bit more okay old haunts uh, let's go issue one so I can see I really wish I had, um... Okay, only 15 left in stock. Oh, no. Um... I don't know why they don't just say it right off the bat. Okay. I'm going to say it's 1 through 5. It's usually what they collect. And again, this, these are 10 bucks. Yeah, it's 104 pages. It's got to be 5 issues. Alright, let's just say that. 5 issues, 1 through 5. Old haunts. And yeah, these are 10 bucks too. As they should be. But trades are almost always fairly priced. Like Marvel, let's see, some of these one, uh, five issue series are seventeen ninety nine. Actually, there's a Captain America book coming out. That I believe is five issues that uh, which I might get. Uh, was the United States of Captain America? Yes, United States of Captain America book. That one that I won this. Just uh, mm, that must be seventeen ninety. I know it's gonna be fifteen ninety nine. I think, but I think it's seventeen ninety nine list price. Fifteen ninety nine. Uh, Amazon price. Yeah, these, these are both fifteen ninety nine. I got one of these for half off. I don't know which one. I don't care which one. They're both the same price. It does not matter. But yeah, I can get Department of Truth issues six and seven. So that's it. Um, you'll be sick. Okay, so I, I saw it go thirteen. I, I actually could see it. I saw it go to thirteen minutes. So I'm gonna um, babble for a minute. Um, so maybe. Um, well, probably most likely. Uh, a library hall for the one Captain America book. It's kind of funny because that's also why I wanted to get that Captain America book because I was getting one, the same same author and everything, same epic collection format and everything of that one. So I wanted to celebrate by getting the other one, so to speak, uh, so to speak, celebrate. But it's just one of those series that yeah, I like it now that I, re I reread it. It's just it's smack dab in the middle of his run, and yeah, the Superior Stratagem. That's what I'm getting. Um, is near his near the, near the end of his run too, so there's no real excuse for not to get that book. It's really expensive. I have for the only have been able to have gotten like one other trade. And I wanted to get Black Widow, especially because they were they were all caught up. But yeah, I made out pretty well with the uh, weekly books, just a th thick ass stack of them. Um, but yeah, I, I finally found that one, and I found the last issue of that series. And the Black Widow ones, and Once in Future, and the newest issue of Batman the Imposter, the Robin and Batman one everyone's liking, and fourth, uh, and four, fourth, no, not fourth and foremost, and I got the last few issues of the, um, Justice League, Justice League Last Ride, you know? <laughs> My grandmother's taking, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I shouldn't laugh at that, because it's not too good, but it's like, she just, my, my, my grandmother just said, I can't take them all tomorrow, I was like, my mom told me, so. Yeah, I'm just... <laughs> you're gonna see some dead... There's some dead air for you guys. Alright, I'm gonna end it.